Today, I wanted to talk about perhaps the most famous linearization. And this is so famous if you study physics and also engineering. So check this out. The function that we are going to talk about is sine x. And at what a value though? Well, perhaps the easiest number to work with, yes, zero. This is a typical Calc 1 question. And uh, you definitely should see this if you're planning to study physics or engineering later on. All right. OK, so how do we do linearization? This right here is just the equation of the tangent line to this curve at this a value. And there's actually a very nice formula that we can utilize. That is L of x, which is just for the linearization, is going to be the value of the function at that a value. And then we add the derivative at that a value, which is the slope, and then we multiply by x minus a. And in fact, this is just the typical point slope form of the line. This is like the y, and then if you move this to the other side, that's y minus y1 equals the slope m times x minus x1. All right. So with this in mind, we can just get the things that we need and then just finish it. So. Let's go ahead and get f of a first, which is going to be f of 0. So we will just have, well, sine 0. And sine 0 is just nicely equal to 0, and we are done. Next, we need the derivative. So let's go ahead, differentiate sine x, which is going to be just cosine x. Cool. And then plug in 0. This time, though, cosine 0 is equal to 1. OK? And now we can just drawing everything here, so let's see what we get. Ladies and gentlemen, the linearization for sine x as 0 equals f of a, which is 0. And then we add the slope, which is 1. And we multiply by x minus a, which is 0. So as you can see, after we work this out, l of x it's just going to be 1 times x, which is just going to be equal to x. And that is it. I don't know about you guys, but this answer right here is a little bit too simple, so you might not feel too satisfied. But this is so, so, so famous. This is actually so, so, so nice. And let me just show you guys what this does, all right? So let's talk about when we have the sine function right here. All right, so this is how sine x looks like. So I will just give you guys a picture like this. And as you can see, this is pretty complicated because sine x goes up and down, up and down, and so on. And if you don't think this is complicated, then I would like to just ask you guys this. Can you tell me the value for sine of pi over 10 in your head? Not so much, huh? All right, even though this is actually a famous question, but if you want to get ah, the answer for this, not so much. But let me show you guys what the linear session <laughs> does, all right? So you see that this right here is sine x, but if you are talking about L of x, which is actually just the equation of a line, and that's super nice because that's just x. So it looks like this. As you can see, around 0, the curve and also the line, they are pretty much similar, right? So what we are saying is sine x. It's actually really close to x around 0. And if you write this down, and then you just put when x is small. There. All right? So what's pi over 10 then? Pi is about 3.14. When you divide it by that, this is going to be 0 0.314. So if you want to figure this out, what we can do is just say, hey, this is just going to be the input. Because you see, sine x is equal to x, which is just approximately equal to input. And you see, this right here, you can just say it's pretty small. I will just write this down. This is pretty small. It's not only it's pretty, but it's also small. So that's why it's pretty small. So you can just say this is approximately pi over 10. Which, if you would like, this right here is approximately 0 0.314. And go ahead and use your calculator, and you can see that. So let me know what you guys think. And if you guys need more <laughs> examples for linear stations, you guys can check my playlist. I have a playlist for that over there for you guys. But that's it for this video.